So, um, before we get into it, before we get into it today, uh, I do have to talk about a couple of things. Unfortunately, I did get spoiled. I did get spoiled. Uh, nothing. Well, actually, no. It was. It was. It was something pretty big. Apparently, uh, Xehanort's the player. That's kind of crazy. Xehanort's the player. All right. Uh, that's that's a little insane. And you want to know how I got spoiled? You really want to know how I got spoiled? It wasn't even Twitter. It wasn't even social media. It had nothing to do with that. Here's exactly what happened. I made sure to stay completely off Twitter for the most part. Um, if I saw a, a Union Cross spoiler, people were very kind to have like, hey, spoiler tags like on their tweets and stuff. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna zoom right past it. Here's how I really got spoiled. Um, Last year, <laughs> we made a video on this channel, and it was literally called Xehanort is the player's nobody. I made this video, and you know, I have my, no I have my YouTube notifications on, right? I have my YouTube notifications on, because I'm waiting for the freaking uh union cross update the drop hopefully it's gonna drop in english so i made this this stupid freaking video and i don't know where it is but i started getting comments <laughs> i don't know if i can find them yep here it is right here Turns out the player is xehanort everyone is xehanort i was just like oh well I, uh, I, I haven't even watched the update yet. I haven't even watched it yet, so I'm looking on my phone and I'm seeing this on, on this video, and I'm like, dang, I haven't even watched it yet. <laughs> the story uh, behind that video, so funny. So, um, one of our mods in chat, he's in chat this morning, Umbra Moonin, fantastic dude. Uh, it was actually originally his theory. So he came to me with this theory. It was right after we did uh, episode one of Dark Road. And he was like, yo, I need to, you got, you got to check this out. And so he laid it on me and he was like, dude, like, what do you think? And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I love it. And so I asked him, I was like, hey, can I make a video on this? I think it's very intriguing. I would love to make a video on it. He said, yeah, go ahead. He said it exactly like that. He was like, yeah. Go ahead. So I made a video and I threw a couple of my own things into it, but yeah, that was the gist of it. But essentially, uh, people were commenting like, oh yeah, Xehanort is the player, it's confirmed. And I was like, oh. So we weren't right, but we were pretty dang close. You know, we were we were in the, the ballpark, I should say. There was one other spoiler that I saw, but it was out of context, so I don't really know how to how to take it because <laughs> it was out of context. Uh, I was scrolling through Instagram, Instagram, right? Instagram out of out of all places to to get spoiled for Kingdom Hearts. You think Instagram? You think Instagram would be safe? No, no. You new cross spoilers are omnipresent. They are everywhere. Scrolling through Instagram. And like on my personal Instagram account, right? And <laughs> it was so freaking funny, dude. There's like a, if you don't know how to use Instagram, uh, basically there's a, there's a section for like, pop, like there's like a popular page section and it just kind of, you know, shows you kind of what's trending, but it, it, it feeds you like what you like to see. So like there's, you know, there's a bunch of Kingdom Hearts stuff and like other things um, that I see. And I saw a picture and I did, I, you don't, you can't, you don't see the caption until you click on it. And so I clicked on it and it said, Union Cross spoilers without context. And then the picture, it was a picture of, um, it was Sora and it was, uh, the, it was that scene in Dream Drop Distance at the end with like all the, when he's like hanging out with all the dream eaters and stuff. 
Um, so I saw that. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll find out. So apparently we've got, we have quite literally got 40 minutes of just complete juice. I am going to be watching Everglow's video. Everglow, thank you so much for these translations and to everybody who's done all, all these translations for so long. Gosh, thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Um, literally like we, I don't know what we would do without you. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Uh, I think we're just gonna get into it. Should be fun. That is loud, at least for me. Yeah, let me know how the uh, how the audio is. Let me know if I gotta turn it up or down. We'll uh, figure it out here. Whoo, 40 minutes of juice. <laughs> Time to end this. Uh, audio is good, perfect. Very good. I've got my, 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 my super cheap Duncan's drink. Oh, snap, we're just jumping straight into it. Hold on, <laughs> I'm not ready. I got caught off guard, okay. I think Lushu said, so this world's gonna end. Sorry, I'm already pausing and I haven't even started yet. Okay, I gotta get my, my voice acting game on. Whew, here we go. <clears throat> so this world's going to end? As I said before, there's no way to win against the darkness right now. We need the Keyblade Legacy to live on for the ones who can defeat the darkness in the future. So it was important that we had the time to raise many Keyblade wielders. Those seeds of light, the dandelions, this world will keep the darkness at bay. Frick. Everglow is, he's going for that any percent speed run, hold on. <laughs> I'm not ready, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get my pause game on. I'm a slow reader. Okay, those seeds of light, the dandelions, this world will keep the darkness at bay until those seeds are scattered. And a dawn that has no sunset will one day have its sun sink into slumber. With that, the plan is complete. I don't even know how much I'm gonna theorize, I'm just gonna soak it in, to be completely honest. Also, if I don't look at chat that much, forgive me. <laughs> well, I should be going then. Oh, right, there's one more thing. Oh, there's still more? I've said this before, but I have been fighting the darkness for a long time, right? The darkness casts away its physical form and attacked people's hearts. I've lost some comrades because of that. Okay. However, when throwing away its physical form, it also loses sight of its purpose. And that's where we are now. So the darkness we're fighting now doesn't have a physical form? Seven is a perfect lucky number. Well, 13 is a disharm, harmonious, harmon, harm, disharmonious, nious, disharmonious, gosh, unlucky number. All right, so seven and 13, just as it said, there are 13 original darknesses. There's 13 original darknesses, and then there's six of these, these other darknesses I don't know if they're called willful darknesses, but they're 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 flying around here, right? Yo, Ryan with the tier one, thank you so much. Made it for the Andy stream. Yeah, what's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, those darknesses don't have their own form, so they aim to increase their number, taking them from one of many. They've already increased in the darkness that has derived. Jeez, again, Everglow with that with that any percent speed run. Forgive me, guys. Okay. I'm not fast enough. And the darkness as a derived form is the heartless and those that don't have a form because individuals waiting to possess people with strong hearts became individuals waiting to possess people with gotcha. So he's okay. I gotcha. Interesting. Cool. People with strong hearts. Interesting. Whoa. Darkness can't be defeated whenever it's, I think he said whenever it's formless. In order to win, we need vessels with strong hearts. Okay. That's why I raised you all. 
No way. Are all the four? Oh my gosh. No way. The foretellers are meant to be the vessels? What? Of course. Six foretellers. Six darknesses without form. Oh, man. And then Xehanort in the... In the Kingdom Hearts 3 epilogue. Seven black pieces, right? Okay. Okay. That's that's actually insane. So they actually are setting them up to be, I'm guessing, maybe the next antagonist. This might sound awful for you, but... No way. I'm not saying you were raised as simple vessels. Gosh, even Ava, man. I wanted to make you into people with hearts so strong that even darkness couldn't possess them. Okay. Wait, hold on. What, what is he? What is he trying to do here? But that's. You mustn't forget. This is a fight between people and those who are not. We must not let our goal be clouded by feelings. Yo, the, this version of this theme, I entrusted the fate of humanity to you all. I believe in you. There are 13 main darknesses. Of those, the strongest seven ones must be locked within our hearts. And they will be defeated in whatever place they land. Whoa! So 13... Okay, okay. 13 main darknesses. There's seven locked within the foretellers? Wait, so there's there's seven... So there's that means there's, there's one... Hold on. There's seven already locked in the foreteller's heart. And then there's the other six that we talked about in the last update. Whoa. Yeah, Lushu's unofficial theme. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Man. Okay. I already saw this report reacting with the chat. Nice, Ryan. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Okay. That's how I'm interpreting that. That is the purpose of the Keyblade War. Whoa. Wait! Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on. The purpose of the Keyblade War. So, did he just set up all the four towers to basically strike each other down? Because we have the darknesses, they have the darknesses in them. But then, like, doesn't okay. Hold on, sorry. I, I gotta, I gotta watch. I gotta watch the rest. I have, I have questions. Gosh, this theme is so good. The traitor between the Union leaders and the Keyblade War. Is all this really necessary? Yep. The mention of a traitor in the Book of Prophecies has a purpose. Darkness feeds upon the emotions of doubt and discord. They all must feel those emotions deep in their hearts. The conflict of all those emotions will just amplify them even more. And that will cause those seven darknesses to be locked within our hearts. Whoa. Within our hearts? Then there are six left. Those will be locked within the Union Leaders after we... Those will be locked within the Union Leaders after we've disappeared. And then one more who we were trapped in this world. <sighs> Gosh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> the, the, the lingo, dude. How can I accept this? Too many people are being sacrificed. I already told you. We must not let our goal be clouded by feelings. It's a terrible tragedy and a cruel fate for those hearts whose hearts are stolen by the darkness. I've seen many people I love and many of my friends' hearts falling into darkness. Wow. Again, some. I love that we keep getting a little more like. A little, a little, little more like, a little more slice of the cake when it comes to the master and master's like backstory. Oh man, man, crazy. Lucius the homie, he really is though. This isn't some heroic tale. It's a matter of the dignity of people with him, with hearts. This isn't about sacrifices. 
spreading a way to save them. Hmm. This isn't about sacrifices, we're readying a way to save them. Sheesh. Okay. There it is. May your heart be your guiding key. Whatever you feel, whatever you think. Those will be the key to all. I'm counting on you, Lushu. The traitor. All right. Whoa. So, so the master masters officially confirmed. We just use the traitor, which makes sense. But that's pretty crazy. Also, is the stream okay? Sorry, it was kind of like buffering on my laptop over here. I want to make sure it's good. Whoa, man. Gosh, R for regrets. I wonder if they'll keep Zigbar seeing from Dream Drop Distance for Lushu going forward. Honestly, I really hope... Oh, gosh. Like, if we ever fight Lushu in the future, I really hope that they uh, they use the um, the data battle theme for Zigbar because that theme, to me, is very Lushu, and I love it. <laughs> Man. Wow. Yeah, everyone thought Ob was the was the uh, uh, was the traitor. Stream is fine. Okay, good. Yeah, because like they were talking about like how like in the book and like the bell and you know whoever strikes first uh, when the bell goes off. I, I it's, the details are a little hazy for me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This makes Ava much more interesting. Yeah, that's oh, hmm. Ava definitely at all the four towers, one thousand percent is the most interesting because like. She's another one where I actually don't really know what the heck she's trying to do. I kind of hope we see her. All right, so day breakdown. Uh, this is what day to day breakdown going up in flames here, up in smoke. All right, brain at work. The man is at work. Does it look like it'll work? Um, I looked to see if there was a way to send everyone at once between the real world and the data world. It looks like it would be a time crunch. So, okay, yeah, yeah. So they these four went in the pods and Scald and Ephemer and the player are left behind. Gotcha. Right, okay. I'm remembering. I see. But there is one more way. Moving all the dandelions would be tough, but I think I can send those three here. Hmm. Before I do that, you three will have to enter the pods. Huh? So you gotta actually send them on their way to ensure, like, the safety? Getting Ephraim and the others here is looking to be a fight against time. I'll let you guys leave this world first. Okay! Okay! Is this that one more way you mentioned? I'll return the empty pods to the data world. That way, regardless of time, they can come back here. Got it. Okay. Sorry. Union. Anytime I watch Union Cross, I have to like sit and think and digest like what they're saying because like, no matter no matter what, I'm always gonna be like, my head's always gonna be spinning with Union Cross all the time, man. I always thought there was no traitor and it was just something Master Master set up so the four towers unions would turn on each other, but now we know it was Lucio all along, right? Yeah, because with back cover, it kind of seemed like. The master just like set it up, but he confirmed it's technically Lushu. Very interesting, which makes sense thinking about it. Hurry and board, you two. You sure about this? Right now, you're the only union leader who can safely escape this world. From effort to me, from me to you. Let me see you depart, so I know we'll still be connected in the future. Aw. Understood. Ah, brain, brain is so mysterious to me. I need to know what happens with him. I don't know when or where you'll land, but follow the lead of your heart. Yeah, I'm curious where they're going to actually end up originally. We need to etch the objective in your heart. I didn't find Shirlichia 
is data in that world. So I thought that people's data can't be preserved. But this is different. This time, I'll find her. <sighs> yes, now it's all coming back to me, my purpose for being, right? I'm sure that's the lead your heart is going to follow. I really hope you'll be able to see your sister again. Aww. I'm sure we'll meet again. Hmm. It's so, I say this every single time I see El Rena, but it's so weird to me actually seeing like expression on her face <laughs> and like that she's actually concerned because she like, I want like, how does she turn so sassy? She doesn't seem like the sassy, like lark scene that she is here. Like she actually seems like she cares about things, right? It's crazy. Man, yeah, it's okay, Eddie. Don't apologize. It's in your cross. Yeah, I, I, I'm just soaking it in. You know, this is this is a moment of soaking. We're we're sponging right now. It's weird because the Book of Prophecies existing guarantees Lucius success. Even Master Master says that, so we just assume he couldn't be the traitor. That's also true. Yeah, that man, Master Masters. I mean, he's always been playing five D chess, but for real, man. Losing members and turn into nobody. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, in terms of like, but I wonder like, would that? I guess I guess that changes. Would that change their personality? I guess so. Maybe. <laughs> What's the matter? They literally name a character a brain and put him in Union Cross because you need the biggest brain to understand it. <laughs> That's why he's the one figuring it all out, right? His name is Brain. He's figuring it all out. Man. May your heart be your guiding key. May your hearts be your guiding key. Oh my gosh. These guys are never going to see each other again. This is going to end in tragedy. I'm so curious to see exactly where they end up. Brain. There they go. Like how... Mm, who's there? Oh. Is it just you? No way. Is this Lushu? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. I wonder if everyone's safely returned to the real world. Oh gosh, okay. Brain's there, it'll be okay. Yeah, he's smarter than Ephemer. Bro, I hate that I got that freaking spoiled for me. I can't even look at the player differently now. <laughs> I can't look at him the same. I like that they're joking around. They're joking around, right? Even though like, <laughs> like right, literally right here. Yeah, he's smarter than Ephemer, yeah. Oh, can't believe the world's gonna end. Oof, man. Yo, Drew was good. He played us like a fiddle, the master master. He's playing everybody, dude. Oh, I can't believe the world's gonna end. I know, it's so quiet. <clears throat> hey. Hey! Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's darkness, isn't it? That's... Oh, it's all of them! Oh, four of them, okay. They just all really just showed up. There's no need to be nervous. We didn't come to fight. We want you to open a gate before you leave. A gate? That's right. Didn't the darkness you fought before mention it? Our goal is to spread. We pass through portals and spread to many worlds. You expect us to open a gate nice and easy for you after hearing that? It's pointless to try to prevent it. You know our strength by now. You can even take control of that body of yours right now. Whoa, whoa. Or should we take away your friends right before your eyes? Making you open the gate as you writhe with regret and humiliation? Yo, this is dirty, dude. It's dirty. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Go ahead, Ephemer. Are you gonna fight? Cause I, I'm assuming there's a boss fight in Union Cross. They're gonna make you fight all of them. Like you, you had to fight one at first and they all got wrecked. And now three of them gotta fight four of them. <laughs> Holy heck. That's insane. When we start fighting. Oh, okay. He's, is he thinking? 
or C, whispering. Parentheses means thinking. I don't, I don't think they can read your mind, Ephemer. When we start, also, sorry, again, not looking at chat right now. This is getting juicy. When we start fighting, you get in the pod quick. Whoa. At the very least, you need to live on. Okay. It's whispering or insinuating. How foolish. What's wrong? This is why you humans can't win against the dark. Whoa! Oh! Why did it, what? <laughs> Whoa, no. Everglow's heart has fallen into the de Did one of the six, uh, it makes sense. Did one of the six darknesses possess the player and then he becomes Xehanort? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. The darkness definitely, one of the darknesses definitely possessed the player. No way. Everglow? No way. Your voice won't reach him now. His heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness. You're... There's no way to defeat us without a body. I thought I told you that. Whoa! Okay. We can't defeat it. Ever <laughs> Ever... Wow! If you open the gates, I'll give him back. Okay, I mean, so I knew, again, I, if y'all were here earlier, I knew, I know about the Xehanort player spoiler, unfortunately, but I didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming at all. Dang. Thank you, Everglow. Very cool. No way is it going to make you fight them. No need to interfere now. Watch. Oh my god, what the heck makes you fight Everbird Scald? That's the worst. That is the worst. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, this hurts. Oh, this hurts. I can't look. I can't look, chat. I can't look. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my freaking life. I did not see that coming. No. No. No! <laughs> Ephemer and Scald are the final bosses of Union Cross, dude. I actually can't believe it. Oh. Yeah, so I knew about the... Unfortunately, I got spoiled on the Xehanort player thing, but like... This is, this is too much. I can't look. I can't look. I can't watch my kids fight each other. We must go through it, Andy. I know. I can't look. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at chat. I'm gonna look at chat. Oh, man. Holy crap. Yeah, everyone has, like, the, has the Riku outfit, which is pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. They're speaking. Oh, I wish I, I knew what they were saying. Oh my gosh. I wish I knew what they were saying, dude. Man, God bless Everglow and everybody who who's who got this far and for translating, not just for that, but I I I gave up a while ago on on Union Cross. I would I would like stop for like I would play for like a while and then I would stop for like a year <laughs> like that was and then I would get back into it And then I'd stop for another year. That's literally my experience with it Dang, so so one of the darknesses possessed the player Which is crazy. Oh Man, I'm trying to think what else um That's so sick. I oh come on. I don't even care, bro. I Don't even care that they just messed us up, dude. So we're the final boss in reality. <laughs> Think about that. Let that sink in, actually. We are the final boss of Union Cross. It's not Ephemer and Scald. It's us. It's us. We're the final boss. <laughs> 
That's so freaking sad, dude. Oh, man. I'm trying to think what else happened while this fight's going on. Oh, wow. So, a lot with Lushu and the Master. I'm about to rewatch that scene again. Lushu being the traitor, that was kind of a big takeaway. And the darknesses, I guess seven of the darknesses being locked inside of the Vortellers and, and the Master. That's kind of how I understood that, right? Man. It's us. We're sus. And he can't spell sus without us. Thank you, Umbra. Very cool. Couldn't get into Dark Road. I got into Dark Road a little bit, but uh, I, I I fell off that pretty quick. All right, so we this is we just absolutely destroyed Scald and Ephemer. I hate that. <laughs> this is not the music we need right now. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get back into the juice. Oh, uh, don't tell me that we're gonna we're gonna kill them, bro. No way. No one really dies in Kingdom Hearts, right? Should have boarded the pause when you had the chance. Dude, no. I will stop. This hatred, Ephemer. Let me nourish it. Oh, this is so Xehanor. No way. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoa! He's crying. <sighs> yep, congratulations, you beat up your friends. Hooray, you destroyed your friends. <laughs> Whoa, dude, that was brutal. I can't believe Namora did that, actually. Yeah. You use your friend's power against them? Oh my gosh, right. With the medals? <laughs> my friends are my power. Uh, okay, this... This is interesting. Is it just you? Oh, here we go with the theme again. Yes. Who are you? Are we gonna see them throw down? I wanna see the, I wanna see Lucio fight. <laughs> I wanna see him fight in his prime, dude. Oh man. I'm Lucio, one of the master's apprentices. Huh? Master Lucio, I heard he disappeared before the unions were created. That doesn't matter now. More importantly, are you a union leader? Yes. I'm a union leader. I'm the union leader brain. If you're the only one here, then... Where are the other union leaders? Okay. One is left, but the other two are still in the data world. Hmm. Including you. That makes four. Was the other one taken down? Yes. I see. So then, you'll use the lifeboat to escape. No. Hold on. Who... Our guys, chat, sorry, remind me. Uh, who was taken down? Uh, so I'm, I'm a little I'm a little confused right now. I'm trying to remember. I should have watched the last update before doing this. So, four uni leaders. The last one was taken down. Oh, sure. Oh my gosh, sure. Let's see. Right. I'm I'm literally an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cuz I didn't I again cuz because Sherlitzi has been gone, I wasn't really counting her as a union leader, but she officially was one. Okay, of course, right. Cuz he's thinking of the original 5 union leaders, not the 5 that we have now. No more un unrated edition. There's one Dandelion friend of ours in the data world. If you count the two union leaders over there, plus him, that makes a three, he would take up the pawns. Okay, so they're breaking it down. <clears throat> what are you going to do? I'll live out my time here. I plan to awaken the remaining dandelions here in the data world. God, the brain is so good. Awaken? Yes. When the world falls in darkness, it'll fall asleep. That's what Master Alva taught me. 
Bro, oh my gosh. <laughs> Wish she's gonna give no name to Brain. It's gonna happen. It's true that it will fall asleep, but that data world is different, huh? I'm not even gonna think, I'm just gonna soak it in. That world is a cage for the darkness. If that falls in the darkness, there's no getting it out again. But your friends are in there. And one more thing. These incomplete lifeboats you guys are using. You need to have a medium for your physical form at your destination. As well as people who remember you. Otherwise, it won't work. Did you know that? Well, to a degree. Do you have a plan? It's just... Putting the future of my life on the line. He's gonna give him no name, bro. You're quite brilliant. No way, dude. It's unfortunate to think that your life will end here. What? Huh? Oh. Uh. The OGs, man. Ephemer. Let's go back. This is the real love story here. Scald and Ephemer. Oh, I love them. My babies. Oh. There's an extra one. That was probably for the player. All right, they're all going. Yeah, they're both going. Oh, he sent him the wreck it, Ralph. Whoa, you did well. Exploiting his anger to open a portal. You see this? We can enter many data worlds. Ah, oh, cause yeah, they're in Grand Central. You too must throw away that form, or you'll be erased along with that frail human body. You find it funny? Oh, this is insane. Is triggering the darkness always so easy, or is it different for everyone? What? You're telling me he was faking it? Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me he was faking it? He fake fought them to trick the darkness? Yo. That's a big brain move right there, dude. No way. He pimp slap scold for the greater good. Yo. Yo. Okay, player. Okay, player. Heap the player 4D chest darkness itself. Bro. Yo, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Even though you don't have a form, you still can't get through without using my key. That's unfortunate. All right, the, the player is officially my favorite Union Cross character. I am officially my own favorite character <laughs> in Union Cross. <laughs> oh. Wow. What an absolute chad, dude. Ephemer locked that in, and I locked this one. Wow! And I bet they're all... Now, you guys can't leave this portal cable. Bro, and I bet they're all gonna, like... I bet he's gonna absorb all four of them. Whoa. I bet he's gonna absorb all four of them. Right here and now. You had this planned all along. Pretending to be possessed by us. How did they not catch that? Realizing it now is too late. We've won. Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, man. Dude, and like Ephemer had no idea. I bet. I wonder if Ephemer and Skull knew. No, they, they couldn't have known. 
because because he was thinking he was like hey you need to get in the pod right Everglow player oh charity I'm sorry I got you involved in this I'm sorry I got you involved in this Bro, we still got 19 minutes. Oh my gosh, dude. This is insane. We're only halfway through. What the heck? Okay, the world is the the, the world is ending, of course. Yes. Whoa. They did not just go back into the data world, bro. Or they did not just go back into wherever. No, they, they were already in the data world, right? Hoping the others are safe. And then they're in. Gosh, I can never remember. Sorry. You forget I. <gasps> That's. You forget I played for every eventuality. Yeah. I hate that I got that spoiled for me, but that's actually crazy. Man. As mom said earlier, darkness without form loses their purpose. That might be why. <gasps> Hmm. Ma'am. 10 out of 10 acting. Here's your Oscar player, right? Shout out to the player. He was the true MVP. He was, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, the, so this is the real world this game, the data world. Okay, I, I thought so, but there's a lot happening and my brain is just... Bleh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay. So they're in the real world, right? What should we do, Ephemer? I love these two. Let's take a look outside. <sighs> Holy crap, they're actually going outside. Oh my gosh. The blood moon rises once again. <laughs> I recently just played Breath of the Wild, so I'm like thinking about this. Oh no, this is totally the data world, right? It's all, it's all data buggy, right? Data buggy. Let's go to Citrus to stay here. Let's go back inside. I, I always get so confused again. Forgive me. Let me, like, correct me in the comments in the chat with, like, all the... Because I always forget who's in the data world and who's in the real world. And, like, ugh, I, I just... I, for some reason, can never wrap my head around it. So, um... I have no idea why the real world would be glitching. Okay, yeah, so it is the real world, but it's glitching. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe the glitching is symbolic? Hmm. I mean, I guess everything is symbolic in Kingdom Hearts. All right. Building something up takes so much effort, but it takes just a second to destroy it. That is so true, dude. You know how, you know how many times, how, how much time you could spend putting together, like, Legos or... And then it, you, you take you take all this time. Like I remember as a kid, I would spend all uh, like so much time building a masterpiece out of my Lego creations, and then I would just do it just to destroy it. it takes two seconds. Day breakdowns. HDMI cable is just wonky. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I love that we're getting these two, like, interacting. Hello? I can't understand your actions. Your? Yours in particular. Whoa. I didn't think we were going to get another scene with them. Do you want to understand? Understanding your enemy is important. For whom? All of you, or just you? All of us. What's concealed the crevices of the game board is a tiny world. The smaller the world is, the easier it is to control. So next, in order to tell the story of the world bit by bit, why don't we expand the world bit by bit? Domain expansion. And then, if we write a book, if we write book after book, the world will continually expand forever. Okay, um, hmm. 
So does that confirm right there that he, is he basically saying, because I always wondered about this, if he actually wrote the Book of Prophecies. So did he write the, is that what he's, is that what he's saying here? He wrote, because like, let's expand the world book by book. You, the Book of Prophecies has the power to like create worlds. And then I think, um, yeah, the Book of Prophecies, and then he's, I'm remembering the conversation with Lushu. The fact that it exists is proof of your success, right? With passing down no name and everything. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep watching. I wonder if that's what he's talking about. Although there are places where light won't reach, there's no place that darkness can't reach. Hmm, darkness prevailed, light expired. Using all those lives, throwing away all those futures, over and over again, the world expands. No matter where the world expands to, darkness will also grow. It's much more favorable to the darkness. We try to run to a world where darkness doesn't exist, but you are always with us. This is so interesting. Because we're friends. Sometimes I do want to be alone, though. In what world do you plan to disappear? <sighs> Some place you'll, you've never seen. A place you can never know of. A place where neither light nor darkness can be controlled. Bro, so did he dis he disappeared to Quadratum. That is what I'm thinking. And that is... What's the clear difference between humans and other living beings? Even if humans disappear from existence, they want to believe there's still a world in the future for them. I also want to believe a world of imaginary lives, a world of fiction. There it is. He disappeared to Quadratum. There it is. Oh, man. Okay. He mentioned what matters is the point at which it was written and how to get there, which entails that this master of masters has yet to write it, but eventually does. I'm following. I'm following, Sonny. Okay. Oh, oh, man. Fiction. Isn't that just the data world? Nope! It's so crazy. Even if it's from people's imagination. If you put it into re realization, it becomes reality. Dude, that's so insane. That makes sense. He went to Cordero. I already told you. It's a world that you can never know of anyway. So did he really just escape to Quadratum? Just, <laughs> just to get away from the darkness? That would actually be kind of funny. Not gonna lie. What is it? A place where your eyes nor voice can't reach. A world of... Hold on, Mom. What the heck was that? What the heck was this? What the heck was this symbol, bro? Wait. <laughs> Wait. He said a world of... Well, let's analyze this, even though this is a translation, right? There it is, dude. A world of square. Look. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A world of, a world of square. Oh, it's a Japanese asterisk, which is used um, for something that cannot be changed. Gotcha. Well, I'm taking it as a world of square. Quadratum. <laughs> uh, one of the Japanese sensor symbols that's hard to translate over to English for obvious reasons. However, the choice of this specific symbol has meaning. We'll talk about it later. Cool. Let's talk about it later. Can't wait to see Noctis. <laughs> what is this fictional world? Master Masters ever heard of Versus 13? Uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so here's the world going up in flames here. Ah, oh, it's called, get in. Uh, from her, you got that look on your face, dude. Oh, Scald! I, I too am sad that Union Cross is ending. Yes, I feel you. Thank you, Ephemer. I'm glad I wasn't alone in the end. 
My children. You can't give up until the very end, Scald. True. Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss her. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we're mon- no, 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 we're montaging, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> this is the worst, oh man, <laughs> oh, we're montaging and everyone's crying, Oh, man. Quad means four, so it could be a parallel versus 13. E also four cities. I never thought about that part. Yeah. Hold on. Did it just collapse while they were still there? Sorry. I didn't mean to kill the mood. Wait. Wait. Okay, they went in. They went in. They didn't, like, beam out, though. Bro, that... Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked over here. <laughs> dude, what the heck? This is so sad, bro. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I didn't even know, I did not even notice. Were they turning into dream eaters or is he just sleeping? And like seeing dream eaters. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, here's a. The. Ch oh yeah, the hearts and then they're going to. They're turning into dream eaters. The hearts are going to the Cherithes, and the Cherithes are spirits. Whoa! What are these? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that, that picture that I saw out of context. Our existence connecting to Keyblade Wielder's heart. When your heart disappears, we do too. When your heart sleeps, we become something to protect it. Oh! And those, that's what dream eaters are. If you refuse sleep, you will dissolve into a new heart. Dream eaters are, it's, it's the, it's the mesh it's it's the melding of the uh, like a, a keyblade wielder's heart and their freaking charity. Are you telling me that's what dream eaters are the whole time? Whoa! And that makes sense because I was wondering how they because because charities are spirits, but there's also the charities possessed by the darkness, which are nightmares. <laughs> Dream drop distance hits different now. Yo, that scene with Sora. Oh! That scene with Sora at the end of Dream Drop Distance. Whenever he's going to thank all the Dream Eaters, it's actually just. That's why Ven's smiling at the end of Dream Drop Distance. He's reunited with his friends. <laughs> you mean to tell me my Meow Wow and Dream Drop Distance was my homeboy Johnny69? <laughs> Johnny69 is a summon in Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> That is so crazy. I didn't think there was anything more than Dream Eaters besides they were just creatures in, in the dream world and in, in sleep.
My favorite Kingdom Hearts game is the one where you fight using dead children. Wow, that's probably why the Dandelions help out in 3. Because Sora returned to Dr in Dream Drop Distance to thank them. Oh, <gasps> He returned to thank them, and then they came to return the favor! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, this is too much. This is too much. That's so crazy. What? Oh. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. He said... Okay. There he is. There he is. There he is as Xehanort right there. There it is. Caught in 4K, bro. Hold on. Because Chirity said if you refuse to sleep, you will dissolve into a new heart. And he refused sleep. And that's how he becomes Xehanort. Baby Nort. I wish I didn't get that spoiled for me, though. Oh, man. I wish I did not get that spoiled. Oh, that that's so insane, dude. Whoa, man. Is that Mama Nort? <laughs> Whoa! Is that Mama Nort? Yo. Who's this Genova reunion looking guy? <laughs> We've got Mama Nort and Genova Reunion. Who is, who's the guy from, um, who's the guy from uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake? The Genova Reunion guy? Marcus? <laughs> You're telling me Marcus from Final Fantasy VII Remake is Xehanort's dad? Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. Confirmed. Mark Nort. <laughs> That's insane. I knew it all along. Of course, it's right there. She looks a lot like Scald. What the heck? So, so Mama Nort gave Baby Xehanort to Marcus. Genova reunion. <gasps> brought him. He brought him. Who is? But who are you, though? Really. Brought him to the island, he grows up. I mean, I can see where the inspiration came from for, uh, I guess for Ansem Saad's uh, brown cloak. <laughs> Marcus. Whoa! Reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I can't. What the freak, dude? And then he ends up in Skawa. We see that in Dark Room. And then him and Eric is playing chess. Oh, wow. That's wild, dude. I wish I didn't get that spoiled for me. I need to go watch everyone's reaction to this scene after I'm done. I can't get over this, dude. What's wrong? Looks like I'll continue on another journey. Dude, we are Xehanort. We are Xehanort, bro. I'm Xehanort. You're Xehanort. We're all Xehanort. I mean, that's Kingdom Hearts, right? You either die as Sora, or you live long enough to see yourself become a Xehanort. Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. We got 10 minutes left, dude. We still didn't see what happened with... Oh. That's it! There's gotta be a post credit scene, bro. We're all Xehanort. <laughs> dude, that was crazy. There's more after? Okay. I'm gonna let it roll. I'm gonna soak it in. I'm gonna read chat real quick. I thought Xehanort's mom was Scald. She looks like a lot like Scald, dude. Dude, Xehanort has a mom. Bro, now that scene, you thought whenever they were talking about Xehanort's freaking dead classmates in Dark Robe, that recontextualized that, that toy box scene, now it recontextualizes it even more. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Dude, he had a mom. I mean, I guess we all have a mom, right? Say my thoughts for Mom and Nora at the end. That's fair. Whoa.
Oh, so good. Dude, we took over Terra's body, right? <laughs> this is so good. That was great. So, hold on. There's 10 minutes left. I mean, I don't know how long the credits are. So, Ephraim and Scald went through the pod. We can only assume, right? It's not completely confirmed yet, but very heavily implied again. Scald is Subject X. Um, oh, gosh. My laptop might actually die. Hold up. We'll see. That'll be fun. Um, but what happened to Ephemer, dude? Jeez. That's so interesting. Okay. It makes me feel for Xehanort even more, right? In the scene with Xehanort on the island, his blue cloaked guardian collapsing. Xehanort walked forward after he falls. In the beginning of Dark Road, Xehanort walks forward, and the second he does, that robed Ansem uh, shows up saying, my waypoint. Right, I gotta go watch that first episode of Dark Road again. That scene is symbolic that Xehanort's guardian would later die of old age and wouldn't be able to protect Xehanort anymore. In the moment he wasn't able to do, it wasn't able to anymore, robe Xehanort arrived. Ah... Uh... As some people call him, <laughs> Potato Sackanort. Whoa, man, that's that's crazy. The scene that most took it as a joke in Kingdom Hearts Three actually carried deeper meaning. You talking about um? You talk about Woody roasting. That's the Kingdom Hearts Three, dearly beloved, dude. I can't believe it, bro. So we have to see what happens with Brain, dude. What the heck happened with him and Lushu? Lushu was like, what did he say? What did Lushu say? He was like, he was like, uh, your life is going to end or something. Because I thought he was going to give him like no name, but it seemed like he was about to body this man. But like, why? With her mom's real name for Read My Well Song. Wait, what? Would I go back in time and kill Baby Nort? No, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Bro, dude. Here we go. This isn't the final world, is it? This is the Scala theme, though. Or the Four Tower theme, sorry. So here's here's the pods. Alright, who's in this one? Are we gonna find out where everybody went? Ephemer? Okay. Looks like Ephemer. Ephraimer is going to create... Because Ephraimer has the Master Defender. Oh, is Ephraimer going to create Scala? Hey, Key Hunter, what's good? Maleficent's Crow? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Kingdom Hearts 2! Kingdom Hearts 2, bro. Kingdom Hearts 2. There it is. Whoa, okay. Lorium. Of course, very fitting that he's in a field of flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't with this freaking game. Hmm, so he ended up here. Looks like it would be like Enchanted Dominion or something. But I don't really know. This looks like Snow White's. Elrena? Bro, the thunderstorm? The thunderstorm and the fact that she's a lightning, she has lightning. <laughs> Does she get struck by lightning and that's why she can wield lightning? Dude, this, this, this symbolism, bro. 
She's actually the Flash. Oh, I had it backwards with where they were at. My bad. Oh, Olympus on the Mountain, Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh. I see, because that, that looked like, um, that looked like either Enchanted Dominion. I thought that was, I thought, I thought that was the Dwarf Woodlands. Because I thought that's where you fight the, um, the, the, the Evil Queen as, like, the, as the, uh, the old hag or whatever, if I remember. That is Enchanted Dominion, okay. Alright, I believe you guys. Ventus is in... The Badlands. Oh! Up! Oh! I wonder if this is the scene in back cover. May my heart be my guiding key. Yeah. Oh. You're telling me that you're the you're telling me Lucius' first victim was Brain, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. So, instead of actually passing down the Keyblade, he just took over Brain's body. Whoa! Is there more? Oh my gosh, I'm messed up after that, dude. What the heck? There's more. Oh my gosh. What the heck? There's more. It's not over. <sighs> Are we in London? What? There he is. This is... So this is Lushu as Brain. In Brain's body. Are you Brain? Here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. He gave him his hat. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused right now. Seems that we weren't mistaken. So, and you are. I'm gonna keep watching. I'm gonna keep watching. I'm gonna keep watching. My name is Sigurd. Please wait here. I'll report the new character. Who this? You got a cell phone, my guy? Sorry to keep you waiting. I would take you to headquarters. Headquarters? This doesn't look like Scala, though. Can I get a little explanation here? Yeah, What? where? where is this? Unless it... It's not... No, hold on. You escaped Daybreak Town's destruction, and it was decided you would come here today. As well as coming to... As us coming to greet you. What does that mean? I don't understand. Yes, we will explain further at headquarters. Wait a sec. Where are the others? There should be others that I left with. Only one who came to this time. Oh, really? I am so confused right now. Wait, what? Hold on. Because I thought, because Lushu obviously took over Brain's body. Also, that's that's crazy, right? People were joking. Brain, Brag. It's literally a one-letter difference. Okay. Huh. It's only natural that you would be confused. <laughs> Literally. For now, let us get going. Thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Sigurd. 
Mrs. Sigurd? Sigurd a boy or girl's name? I don't know. What the heck? Don't tell me it ends there, bro. Oh, we're still going. Fountain? But that's... He is the founder of the city, Skala and Kylum. It was the first Keyblade Master. Whoa. Ephemer! Master Ephemer? Oh. So Ephemer created Skala. So they are in Skala. Okay. It didn't look like it at first, but I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I know. I'm so proud of my best friend. I don't know what's going on, dude. I got no idea what's going on, bro. Oh, Ephemer. An Oath of Return, Kingdom Hearts. Whoa, dude. That's it? That's it? That's actually it, dude. Okay, so my laptop actually died. <laughs> so give me one second. I gotta... I gotta pull up the, uh, I'll, I'm gonna pull it up on here because we're done with the computer. Holy crap. That, that was a finale. I have, I have a lot to think about. <laughs> oh my gosh. 